Captain, a word? Akira, but humor me. You came to the dead fire for your own reasons. The problems of others, they must be noisy obstacles by comparison. We both know the burden of being looked to as a source of hope. What say? And you wish for a moment of silence to dampen the rabble. Oh, no? You have not been the savior of an archipelago as long as some of us. <laughs> well, then you have the distinction of being more generous than Ngati's chosen. Ikera, just so. It is relaxing to lose yourself in another, I say. I am feeling braver than normal. Ikera, a good captain has that effect on their crew. All the powers of the Deadfire have their eyes on the Watcher of Cadnua. Tell me, is the Watcher watching anyone? Ah, so innocence and piety inflamed your desire. A pity you did not glance in my direction sooner, Captain. The pain of a missed opportunity. It is divine, I say. Say no more. I will not add a fish to the love triangle of Captain, Sharpshooter, and Bird. Smart boy. What say? The academic? Then I hope you two continue to amuse each other. Dead? Hecara. The blood which rushed to occupy one place has gone to all other places at once. No one with a beating heart, then? Hecara, I... Forgive this reckless fish for testing the waters. I will bother you no more. To be between lovers is a terrible thing, unless one is physically between them, I say. For once, Ngati answers my prayers. Captain, I would speak plainly. Are you as excited by the possible? What I mean is, if we were to... I know, Kara. Something about your company stirs my nerves. If we were to share more than just quarters below deck, does the idea appeal to you? If such things interest you, my last haphazard coupling was not so long ago. In Nekitaka, in fact. Oh, jealousy doesn't suit you, Captain. Hush, Captain. This talk is distracting enough as it is. Ikera, I am the hope and destiny of my people. My heart is full of stories. She was a godlike, one of Amira's brood. Her hair is neat and orderly as a raven's wing. We found each other in the market and made ourselves comfortable behind a fishmonger's stall. She left me this as a keepsake. I never knew her name. Now I do not have to suffer the pangs of forgetting it. Most desperately. But I do not cage love or force it to be anything but itself. A bird fluttered away. She was not mine to keep. Charm? Oh, not so, Captain. I would have you know me by my impulses, my desires. These are Takehu as much as the living God. As you say, Captain. I do not want you to misunderstand. I am a sea anemone, hungry and eager to close around stimulation. I would draw you in with care, with patience. I know of one way to find out. Akira, then may we put up a merry chase for each other. We could blunt our teeth on more idle chatter, but I cherish the suspense. Come. Well, it helps when both parties are beautiful, full of desire, and have no afternoon plans. I was expected at the guild hall, but one must have their priorities. Captain... What has been your most impressive feat of seduction? Ha! Very good, I say. Hm, <laughs> flatterer. Oh, boorishness does not suit you, Captain. I once bedded a Rawatayan admiral without exchanging a word. Makara, there are other topics? I say that sex is useful for clarifying my intentions. One of the Hazanui passed through Nekitaka on a diplomatic mission. She insisted on visiting the Water Shapers Guild. Surveying the competition, I say. Myru paraded me before her, thinking I alone could intimidate Rawatai's fleet. Gods, Captain. Her muscles had muscles. 
She had all the delicacy and grace of a clenched fist. I wanted a taste of this power. She mentioned offhandedly that her ship needed repairs before the return voyage. I say you can imagine what happened next. <laughs> Eventually. I heard that she spent her evenings in the officer's lounge, strategizing over drinks. I covered my magnificence under a peasant's cloak and made for the brass citadel. The guards at the lounge would not grant me entry at first. Not until I explained that I was the evening's entertainment. I did. So eager, I say. Naturally, my story checked out when they realized I was nude under the cloak. I presented myself before the stunned officers. Hazanui wore an expectant smile. Winking at her, I mounted one of the map tables and gyrated to some of Rawatai's bawdiest sea shanties. When enough was enough, the Hazanui signaled for everyone to clear the room, and the war games began. Mm, you know that fervor is a quality I cherish. But let us wait for a time. Prolong our delights, Akara. Akara, you might think so, but Rawatai's fleet pulled its ships away from Nekataka the following morning. Let it never be said that I failed to serve my people. Well, it does not take much to get my hips shaking, I say. Though I appreciate any encouragement. I want better for him than you. She bade me lay down on the map. Once I was situated, she chided me for leaving my borders unprotected. Naughty boy that I am. Her armada sailed against my island with a heavy assault. She bellowed the most vile and depraved orders. In the end, I stole back the advantage, firing a cannon across her port side and leaving the magnificent vessel crippled in the water. If you ever want to find out, I am an adventurous fish. Akira, I hope so. Otherwise, I might have started a war. Ours was a battle of endurance, not tactics. But I cherished winning a victory for the Juana. <laughs> that, uh, that does sound mighty impressive. Be kind to yourself, Captain. Make sure there is something left for me. It is... Relaxing to crouch in your shade, Captain. I hope you do not mind if I tarry a while. I come to you with another tale of indecency, assuming you would enjoy having your blood flow steered southward. Last time, I say, you showed some reluctance? With... with none of the context to bless my passion with significance? I won't have it, Captain. Stories deserve better. Before I came to Nekataka, I spent many a night alone tending to signal fires on the beaches of my village. One lonely evening, a shadow approached me. It was an Almawa as tall as the crags of Magrin's teeth. He planted his harpoon in the ground and knelt to warm his hands. Akira, and we have only just begun. Well, the same thing anyone wants at night, around the fire. Warmer hands. He was a whaler on a year-long voyage, his ship weighed down with meat, oil, and bone. But he studied me like I was something new to the sea. For hours we spoke of his travels. He left at first light, but not before asking to touch me, here. Good luck, I suppose. <clears throat> By day he traded with my village. I saw him in the market, the Ranga's hut. He saw me as well. When the moon rose, I led him from the guest hut and showed him the stars from the beach, and much else besides. Well, he is out there still, spearing Ingati's less handsome children with his magnificent harpoon. We did not last, but that is not a story for today. Hmm, I was not at first. Oh, you mean the prize lure of my tackle box? I am as the goddess made me, beautiful, imperfect, and desiring. Nothing else matters. There is some faint bioluminescence, quite harmless. Thank you for listening, Captain. You would be surprised.
Ah, it is no matter. Another time. Considering all that vies for our attention, I wondered if I could indulge you in a diversion. I had hoped to take your mind from duty. Just this once? Captain, I feel we drift apart. Either I am not the same fish who was charmed into pursuit, or you are not the same captain. I say the difference matters little. I say we are both overworked, poorly rested, and deserving of an evening to ourselves. Arrangements have been made in the wild mare. I wondered if you would join me. Akira, wonderful, I say. To the mare, then. This is paradise, I say. Second only to the guild for introspection. I secured us a room, Captain. Some privacy. I see. How am I to take this, Captain? Has the weight of the archipelago made a burden of our union? Nikara, it is no trouble. Nikara, but reel in your nets a moment. Nikara, my thoughts exactly. I feel I must explain my intentions. <laughs> At least I have not frightened you off with my chatter. <laughs> Makara, no. A bit more complicated. Not much, but a bit. Setting aside my carnal compulsions, you deserve to know why I have pestered you with tales of my antics. The feathered godlike from Nekitaka? The children of Amira and Ngati were too evenly matched. I sought difference and found only Amira. Is it wrong to want disparity? To hope for a partner greater than you? Too tall by far. Makara, that goes without saying. My strong Hazanui, our coupling was diplomacy, a chance joining of competing powers. Agreed. I was a tuna caught in her net. Makara, only be sure you have the stamina for it. A passing delight, I say. Then there was my handsome whaler, a perfect specimen, weathered, elusive, aggressive. But the morning after our coupling, I awoke to him praying at my feet. Akara, just so. Well, I hope that Mother Ngati sent a barbed ravager after him. Taking your hand and leading you through my perversions, my failures, it was not done for my ego alone, Captain. In the arms of a lover, I want to forget what I am to my people. I don't want to be cherished. I want to vanish. I want to be squeezed and pushed and... and gobbled up until there is nothing of Takehu for his people to find. And I fear this will never happen. Really? Akira, that sounds... wonderful. Can we eclipse each other, Captain? Can the Watcher and the Chosen Son blot each other out so that no one can see us? After... after all that we shared? You... you can? Will you let me be in great need, wanting nothing more than to shrug off the weight of the archipelago and forget myself in your arms? None of this is easy. We can... We can only try to make it simpler for those we love. Th thank you, Captain. You are more special than you know, Captain. <laughs> of course, Captain. Ah, I move fast, I say. I promise I will move slower when we are alone. I'll bet he'll never eat seafood the same way again. Why am I here for this? Why? It's all fun and games until he sprays you with ink and swims away. Uh, don't be minding me, Cap. I can appreciate watching an artist at work. <sighs> the gods knew what they were doing when they assembled you for me. Whatever happens, I... <laughs> Akira? Yes, Captain. For now. Akira, but my needs are most insatiable. Do not let me fall asleep unless I am by your side, wearing not the frown of a savior, but the smile of an innocent fool. 
We will both sleep better for this, I am thinking. I will pat your brow when meddlesome spirits invade your dreams. I would not mind that, though she might take offense. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Yes, sir. We have a room, Captain. I plan on using it. Captain, that was exceptionally well done. You have worked yourself into a deserving rest. Captain, give your handsome shark an hour to replenish his stamina, I say. Uh, does it? I say you will get used to the smell before long. <sighs> Come, the sea air will do us both some good. Captain, I... Of course, as you say. You hurt him. You hurt my boy. What? Ungrateful, unloving creature. I should let the maw of the dead fire close around you. Pray to another god that you sail faster than my wrath. 